Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the conditions of hydraulically efficient triangular section. All right. So already we have discussed the hydraulically efficient uh, sections, but for rectangular and trapezoidal sections. But now we will discuss this for triangular section. All right. So let's say we have a triangular section. So why is the depth of the section? Side slope of this section is 1 vertical to m horizontal. All right. So this we have to find the conditions for most efficient section. Okay. So any depth cannot be efficient. Okay. The, for efficient depth we know that your weighted perimeter should be minimum. So we will try to derive this condition for triangular section. All right. Now. Now we know that this length would be or this distance would be if the side slope is 1 vertical to m horizontal. So for y vertical it would be horizontal distance would be my. Okay. Similarly this would also be my. Okay. So area of triangle would be the flow area would be here. Flow area flow area A is the area of this triangle ok so half base into height half the base is twice m y and height is y so that is m y square this is the flow area secondly wetted perimeter T so wetted perimeter is what the length which is weighted by the flow so it is this length plus this sloping length okay now what is the sloping length you can just find the sloping length by pythagoras theorem okay square of this side will be sum of square of this side plus this side so it will be under root of m square y square plus m plus y square okay so that will be and two times so two times y under root 1 plus m square okay so these are the flow area and weighted perimeter. Now, what we want to find out the conditions for efficient section. All right. So for that purpose, what we will do? For efficient section or weighted perimeter, we have to minimize. Okay. So before that we will write the formula for weighted perimeter that is P is equal to we have derived twice y under root 1 plus m square. Okay. Now here we have to replace the y because we need minimum flow area. So let us replace y by a. Now here we can write a is m y square therefore y will be y square would be a by m therefore y is square root of a by m ok so I'll replace the value of y here perimeter would be 2 root of a by y sorry a by m and square root of 1 plus m square ok so if we square both the sides we get therefore squaring both sides p square equal to 4 a by m and 1 plus m square ok now just take simplify this p square equal to 4 a put m inside 1 by m plus m ok now uh, for for achieving hydraulic efficiency we need that this perimeter should be minimum ok so perimeter will change with the change in this m okay this side slope so we will differentiate p with respect to m and it should be zero for minimum perimeter with respect to side slope the rate of change of p with respect to m will be zero okay that will be the local minima or local maxima also 
we can we should apply the same condition so just do that so differentiating this equation we get 2p into dp by dm differentiate with respect to m okay let's see what we get so dm of 4a 1 by m plus m okay now this is for hydraulic efficiency dp by dm should be zero so put this value here so left hand side will be zero that will be equal to again flow area should remain constant so 4a will come outside and we have to differentiate this term ddm of 1 by m plus m okay so 4a again here it will go and become zero so we are getting differentiation of 1 by m plus m equal to 0 so let's do that 1 by m if we differentiate it will be what minus 1 upon m square okay plus ddm of m would be 1 that will be equal to 0 therefore 1 by m square will be equal to 1 therefore m square will be equal to 1 and therefore m is 1 so for achieving hydraulic efficiency that is when the flow weighted perimeter will be minimum when the side slope is one horizontal to one vertical okay so m should be one that means this angle is 45 degrees okay because tan 40 tan of tan theta will be equal to one over one so therefore theta is 45 okay so this is the condition for most efficient triangular section or hydraulic hydraulically efficient triangular section all right m equal to 1 now because of that what will be the conditions flow flow area flow area will be area is what m y square but m is 1 so it will be y square itself similarly what will be perimeter it will be twice y under root 1 plus m square so m is 1 so that will become 2 root 2 y okay and hydraulic radius will become a by p equal to y square upon 2 root 2 y so that will be y upon 2 root 2 okay so these are the conditions for hydraulically efficient triangular sections no need to derive all uh, keep in mind this just we have to keep in mind that m should be equal to 1 side slope is 1 is to 1 okay fine now we'll uh, <coughs> solve a problem uh, on this triangular section in the next video.